Yeah. So when my kids count cake, we done made it from the apartments to the house to the lake. lake, lake, lake. Uh, God is on my plans, that's the one to uh, uh, God is on my plans. Yeah, 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 yeah. My kids count cake, we done made it from the promise to the house to the lake. God is on my plans, that's the walk through. God is on my plans. Recording or no? It's not recording right now? Yeah, yeah. it's recording. Okay. What well, you recording? Oh, well, then, yeah, I'm finished yelling at Kaven. You should have already had the mic check done, Kaven. Hey. <laughs> I got a mic now. Hey, 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 I got a mic and now. I can talk all type of shit. Hey, talk you your talk go. then, Kaven. Talk that talk. But we locked in. What is this episode 11? 11. Episode 10? Ooh, one of the ones. No, I think it's. Is it 10, Kevin? It's 10. It's 10. we not one of the ones. Right? I, we don't know we? when it's going to drop yet. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. yeah, it's one of them ones. You're one it's one of them ones. It's, it's, it's above 10. <laughs> it, is, it is above 10. Talk that talk episode doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the pod. Uh,. Oh, am I going? Oh, my bad. My bad. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. Fault, we my good. Fault. Welcome we good. back to Talk That Talk. I'm your host, Tarai Bionic Brooks. We talk and cover everything from sports to lifestyle, entertainment, and culture. Let mm-hmm. me run that back, though. My name is Tarai Brooks. Welcome back to Talk That Talk. We're here with yet another episode. We cover sure. everything from sports to lifestyle, entertainment, and culture. I'm here with my wonderful co host, hey, that fly guy, Ty. Yes, sir, or yes, Coach sir. Ty, whichever y'all prefer. What do you prefer, though? Uh, it depends on the space. It really <laughs> hey, just depends on the space. Yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate you 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 tapping in with both because they are definitely two different hats yeah. and they are two different spaces yeah, so. it's like almost like try or bonic it's hey. like what, what i want to go at that part. I call him coach. Hey. Call him coach that part that part <laughs> yes sir oh we have a very fun episode uh i'm excited for this one uh we're going to be covering some of the funniest moments and best moments in sports history and not mm-hmm. just basketball we're gonna we're gonna talk about some of our personal experiences oh, with boy. sports <laughs> and some of the best moments that we've had on and off the court off the floor the field all those things ty is there anything specifically that sticks out to you when you think of some of the funniest sports moments that you've had uh so personal moments that i've done in sports um okay yeah (laughs) definitely been a few uh man one of the most prominent ones that stick out i'm sure as we go along i'm gonna be able to to rattle off more think about more but the one prominent one that sticks out to me man is is high school uh what was it junior year uh practice yeah <laughs> oh you going had, there had myself going a there. moment man uh-huh. and, and probably the most embarrassing oh i don't is yeah that, no that was more that, embarrassing that was more the embarrassing most embarrassing moment for you? It, it wasn't it wasn't the trey okay ziggler. okay well now that you brought trey ziggler one of the <laughs> espn top 100 recruits <laughs> hey. and in our class what happened with that man, situation real quick? All right, all right. so i'll tell you a little little brief story uh so a matter of fact, it was his fault. Oh, it wow. was his fault. This is crazy. I was down it's tying my, my shoe. So we, we was we were playing on a club basketball team, travel ball team. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we, we we were came, at one of the like the top camps yep, in Michigan, bank like hoops, bank hoops, all American like camp. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. And yeah, so we were getting ready to face off against man. Our opponents looked man like team giants. Detroit, team Detroit, oh, team Detroit. Man, yeah, it was the, team Detroit. What did <laughs> they were? He was sponsored by Team Detroit. Yeah, they, a, a bunch of D one recruits. Oh yeah. Trey Ziegler at the time, I think his father at the time coached at Central Michigan University. Mm-hmm. Yep, sure did. Okay, he yep. was a, he was a hooper. He was yeah, a baller. He was. Yeah, he was. Uh, so yeah, your boy story? was down tying his shoe while everybody was matching up. Right, everybody matching up. I got him. I got him. I got him. Cool. We all we all familiar with with Trey. Like we all know who he <laughs> we is. We played Team Detroit. Yeah, yeah. So we like okay, cool. I'm tying my shoe. Now some people say I was tying my shoe because I was trying to avoid the smoke. He was. I was just tying my shoe. Just so happened that when I was done, the ball had already been tipped. We were already in the middle of the game. And Trey happened to be a couple steps away from me. (laughs) So as I get up and I turn and I look, all I catch is feet in my air or feet in my face. Trey's in the air, slams it down. Kind of jumped over me in a, in a way. It, yeah, it was it was a moment for sure. <laughs> um, I, I, I did not. I, I, was, I was getting up from tying my shoe, and he jumped over me. Ty, how is that my fault? Nothing because in that story he was saying supposed to pick him about up. Me, so I didn't even set y'all up for that. He was supposed to pick him up. It's we funny. had discussed it before. Oh, we, we just, bro we was going to pick him up. So right. I was like, all right, cool. Bro going to pick him up. It's funny that Ty says this. And Ty is the type of person that, you know, he expects you to read his mind. <laughs> He expects you to be on the same page as him at all times. He's not gonna describe it. He's not gonna tell you about it. He's just gonna he's just gonna blankly say something. It's gonna be automatically assume that you have to let the be or uh, you know what I mean, like you can read his mind or something of that nature. And 
it's funny that when I play basketball now, a lot of people just naturally assume I'm guarding the best player. I don't know how this happens or why we do this all the time. Motor. I found myself in the in this adult league uh, last week, and I'm playing in this game, and I'm just I'm I'm there to get cardio, y'all. I'm, I'm there to like really run up <laughs> so and I'm down. Retired, I'm John. retired. Yes, <laughs> I'm retired. So I'm not really playing as much. I'm not in the gym. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna front. I ain't nothing about me trying to be fake. I ain't trying to be <laughs> fake right now. I'm gonna keep it a buck. But I'm at this game and I'm guarding this guy and you know what I mean. It's naturally the game is going on. I'm playing good defense. He's not really attacking me. It's like <laughs> I, you know, I'm playing solid defense and I go to the bench. I check out the game. Uh, first thing that kind of really piqued my interest, like I got in early foul trouble. Mm. <laughs> and one of the things he did was like, I'm guarding him in a post and he did this, the rip through. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he did yeah. the rip Get through your hands off me. And, and drew a foul on me. But other than that, outside of that, like I was playing good defense on him. He didn't really score in the first quarter, second quarter, or anything like that. How I got my second foul early was um, help playing help defense. Mm -hmm. One of my guys got beat. I ended up hitting somebody as they were shooting a shot. Okay, that's besides the point. I get to the bench. I'm looking at the floor. I'm like, okay, what's going on? My teammates are filling me in on, like, who's the best player? And they're like, oh, yeah, that guy's right there is the best player. I'm like, how did I just magically end up on the best player on the floor and that happens to me all the time oh, yeah. and that's what Ty is talking about and he expected me to be on the best player on the floor Absolutely. he decided that after the tip off uh -huh. it was a good time to tie his shoe and <laughs> next thing you know he's getting dunked on and it was bad apparently that's my fault it was bad okay i didn't think that was a very funny moment it was a very sad moment actually we're at like the, <laughs> the all american camp <laughs> all of the, the d1s college, uh, college scholarships and recruits are, are there but hold up I, i'm sorry i had to uh, segue into this real quick but we didn't tell them that we went to central michigan university yeah, before, we did before Oh yeah! Before we went to this this and, uh, and that's a whole this story. all American camp, we went to go visit my brother. My yep, brother's yep. actually in the room right now. <laughs> we actually go visit my brother for the first time. Go to our very first college hold party. On, hold on, I just got my car. Yes, I just it, got a car. Just got his car. <laughs> Ty just got his car. And before we even leave to Central Michigan. Ty man, gets into a car accident. I get hit, man. We got T bones leaving out of our high school. <laughs> Didn't even leave school yet. Yes, just crossing the street to get out of our school. Man. Then we des we decide, like, yo, we're not going to miss out on this right. trip. We got to go to Central Michigan. Let's go. The car was good enough. I think we're on a donut tire at the time. <laughs> hey, we're going to make it. <laughs> we're going to get there. We made it all the way to Central Michigan, go to our first ever college party. And when I tell y'all, it was lit. It was lit. I didn't know what bro oh, was yeah. up to up oh, in Central yeah. Michigan. Nah, it was but it. I shortly he found out <laughs> had a great time and then next thing you know we were going to this bank hoops all american camp and ty is getting dunked on man that was a day after or did we have a day in between i think it was like almost a day after oh, yeah i think it was a Go day from after. straight party in that central to the to the bank's hoop <laughs> yeah hey, prospect camp <laughs> shout out to bank hoops they put me in an honorable mentor all american like hey. from that camp i was trying to dunk on some folks and uh it was a, it was a good showing but what's by far the funniest sports moment in your in your time in sports style. In my time, in I, we're not are we still talking about the, personal for me? Yeah, or? personal, personal. Okay. We're not gonna we're not gonna count the Trey Ziegler situation. That was a fun story, though. <laughs> it was a fun story, yeah, yeah. but no, the the moment, yeah, that that got me and and everybody I'm sure can remember. It was at practice, I believe, junior year of high school. Uh, we were in the middle of practice this and coming up against a. I, I'm gonna give my boys props, bro. Hey. Vicious sophomore, bro, can handle that thing, can handle the rock, bro. And he really Athlete, liked that. and he really him. liked that. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, I gotta give him his props, but. I play hard in those defense, man. Anybody who know me, man, I'm playing full fledged. Hey, I'm about to let's go. I'm putting this, putting uh, putting the straps on my boots, and you ain't going nowhere. Um, so I play hard defense, and the only reason and the only way you can get caught on a clip is to play hard defense. So <laughs> what even happened? How did I even get switched to him? Because I don't even guard Jeremiah. Jeremiah Williams is who I'm talking Jeremiah, about. Jeremiah, shout out to Maya. And shout out to Maya. And I don't even guard him, so I don't even know how I got switched on him. But somehow I ended up switching out on him. He pulls me out to the three-point line. The pullback dribble was crazy. <laughs> pulls me out to the three-point line. Everybody knows it's over. Like, oh, shoot. He even got him out there on an island. And sure enough, I'm like, you know what? Forget it. We here now. Let's get into it. And... Man, he <laughs> what did he do? He did like an in and out snatch cross, drops me. <laughs> it drops me. Yeah. I end up falling back on my on my butt and sliding a little bit. Try to get there up. There we go. There Worst we go. Yeah, part. tell it. Tell it. Try to get up. Like, all right, whatever. <laughs> I'm playing hard defense. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna block his shot or something, right? 
Nope. Try and get up, slip again, fall, complete the clip. I think he ended up hitting a jump shot. Yes. He ends up did a little pull up jump shot. We hits know he it. do that. Forget it. <laughs> Clip him. Easily one of the funniest <laughs> moments in practice in, in my time. And one thing that really sticks out to me in that day, uh, I think y'all heard it at Tim Hardaway. So, yeah, he pulled oh, that yeah. dribble in and out <laughs> of him and then Tim <laughs> Hardaway. Like, yeah, it was and, nasty. and then bro tried to get up. And y'all ever seen that clip of AI when he yes. put dude from the Wizards on, on the ground? How he crossed <laughs> him and he fell and then crossed back and he fell again? Yep. That was Ty. Yep. That was Ty. Um, <laughs> was but bad. one thing that really stuck out to me later that day from that practice, because practice didn't end yet. Everybody hype, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody geeked up. All our under underclassmen hype, because I think this was a day where the upperclassmen were going to get Against the underclassmen, yep. <laughs> and um, we're running our sets. That's how Ty ended up getting on Jeremiah. He ended up getting dropped on the ground. You know, <laughs> sorry I had to be my guy. But us as leaders and, um, you know, upperclassmen on that team, we were like, you know, we're not going to go down like that. So we go down the other way. We're running our out-of-bounds, baseline out-of-bounds set. Um, and Ty sets me a good screen. I get a, I get a screen to the middle, and uh, I get a ball and, you know, drive down the lane and end up mm -hmm. just dunking Close all over there. one of our – Punched it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> dunked all over one of our under, underclassmen. It was Fred Brown. Fred. It was Fred. Okay. It's Fred Brown. I'm sorry, Fred. I didn't want to say your name, but <laughs> I didn't want to say the wrong name because Ty had said somebody's name. Name my dropping. My bad. My bad. But uh, I, I dunked on him, and it was so bad. Coach – in yeah, practice. practice. I remember that. So I remember that. <laughs> everybody didn't remember that Ty just got dropped to play before because his boy behind it came through and <laughs> like on practice somebody over right we after that. So that was a very funny moment because, like, to this day, we never let Ty live that down no. uh, because he got he got dropped twice in the same play. It's yeah, been a lot of unfortunate events for you, Ty, on the basketball court. Now it has, it has. But I'm also a dog on that court, so hey, hey it's okay. It it's cool. Don't get it twisted. I, I can live with the mishaps because I know what I can I can bring to the table and I know what I. I could do so it's like I, I live with it and so that brings me to my funny story mm -hmm. when it comes to sports and you know ty happened to be a vet on the track and field i, <laughs> I joined track late in my career i did it my senior <laughs> year uh and you know we're, we're at our first meet of the season ty is talking shit to me all season long <laughs> this is my sport right this is what i do you know don't belong is. here yeah, like, I didn't me, say all that. I me, wanted him to come. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> let me show you how it's done. Let me show you who the big dog is. Uh -huh. right? We go to our first meet, and I'm high jumping for the first time. And um, you know, high jump, you're actually supposed to run and jump over a bar. Um, I ran and I actually slipped and fell and <laughs> fell right on my back before the bar. So I didn't make it to the yes, mat. Sir. Didn't make it over the bar. Didn't even make it under the bar. You scratched I'm, too. I scratched yep. and fell right into the standard <laughs> and fell on my back <laughs> on the ground. And that was by far literally the most embarrassing yeah. moment in sports history. Because everybody came to watch you too. I'm not even going. I remember that. Everyone came to watch you. Like, oh, Brooks about to high jump. For the first time. And, yeah. Yep. Everyone came over to watch you too. So yeah, it was, I, it was twice as bad. I busted my tail. I busted <laughs> so that was an embarrassing moment for me, but it was a funny moment because now that I look back on it and when I was in that moment, I was able to laugh about it. Right. Uh, I was able to get over some bars and then I was able to be a really good track and field athlete and let Ty tell it. I'm, I'm not even going to rub it in his face right now, it's but cool, it's your cool. boy surpassed hey, Ty you know, hey, that year as a, it's as a, a good thing. It's a, athlete, yeah, it's a great feeling as a coach. It's a great feeling as a coach. As a coach, when as you're a able to coach them up, you know what I'm saying, and they're able to to exceed you know your expectations and what you were able to do. I love coach it. Coach Ty before he was coach. Coach Ty before no, we were freshman year of high school. Yeah, I think we, we, we I, I first got that title of coach. And it's funny because I actually had one of the kids that we coached in fifth grade reach out to me. Uh, messaged me on Instagram. Oh, and nice. was like, hey, man, I remember you. You were my coach back in the what? day. And, like, great to see all the things that you're doing. That's actually pretty that crazy. Stuff. That was crazy. Like, yeah. that, you brought that up. And I thought about that moment. And it was a very rewarding feeling for me because all the things that I do is just to only show, like, the people who've been a part of my life or I've come across that, like, all of their dreams are possible to share my testimony as a. Um, as a direct line of what can actually be achievable in mm -hmm. life if you actually put yourself, uh, you know, if you actually practice, put yourself in the right position and you stay persistent towards the goals or whatever is important to you in your life. Uh, so, yeah, shout out to mm -hmm. our, our players back in the day because they definitely helped push us to another level and find another uh, – Another mode, because I've been working really hard to be able to show those at home or people that are watching me what's possible. And mm -hmm. um, if you're at home, you're listening to the podcast. Appreciate you for tuning in, tapping in. Absolutely. We can't do this without y'all. So big shout out to y'all. Um, 
But now we're going to switch gears a little bit more. We're going to we're going to touch into some of the funniest moments in NBA history. Mm-hmm. Uh, and a lot of some them. that stick out to me. <clears throat> I have to think about um, some of the missed moments, the mishaps. One of the things that sticks out to me specifically when I think about funny moments in sports history actually is a coaching moment mm-hmm. um, with Jason Kidd. Uh, I believe he was out of timeouts at the time. He's coaching for the Brooklyn Nets. He's he's <laughs> drinking a, a cup of water, you know, walk up to the court, and he whispers to one of his players, like, hey, bump me, bump me. <laughs> right. And so he goes to the court, the player bumps him, and he spills the, he spills the water on the court, Man. causing a timeout. Time out. And that was hilarious yeah, because was. people – Actually ran that back. That video came out. And, oh, yeah. And uh, Jason <laughs> Kidd me, bump me. bumped him <laughs> just to get a timeout. That's a smart play. I yeah, really it like is. that. Coach of the year. <laughs> but another very – oh, we got the clip right oh. up right here. We're able to see it. Like, this is the clip that I'm talking about right here. I hey, my man looks so concerned. Like, hey, we got to get this water up. <laughs> he played this off so well. Look at the referee. Like, yeah, yes. hey, say step back, coach. Don't, yeah. don't step in the water. <laughs> Completely bought into it just so he can get a timeout. He can talk to his players and let them know what they need to do during the break. Look at him. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Bum, bum, bum. Ah! <laughs> Hilarious, Excuse me? bro. Like, the things people do to get a timeout. Right. Some other moments that really stick out to me in uh, NBA history is Shaquille O'Neal. Sha- Shaquille O'Neal is probably one of the funniest Man. basketball personalities <laughs> that oh, yeah. there is. And he had even more... Funny clips while he was playing. That like, part. You no, think he was funny I, I, on NBA on, <laughs> NBA on TNT? <laughs> this man, while he was playing, had plenty of clippable moments. A few that stick out to me is anytime Shaquille O'Neal was going for a rebound and it was going out of bounds or a loose ball. Yeah. He cleared Excuse bitches. me? Oh, <laughs> Excuse like me? Like, <laughs> everyone moved out the way. That's hilarious. He played for the Phoenix Suns at the time, and no one wanted to catch him no, and, sir. and break his fall because no, he's sir. just that big of a Look guy. Look at it. Yeah, you're Look. huge. <laughs> the, seat, the red seat parted. This is not Orlando Magic Shaquille O'Neal. This is Shaquille O'Neal after like 10, 12 years in the league. He Look, weighs about ya. like 350. <laughs> Everybody Get is out, out the of way. <laughs> yes, sir. Shaq like, dang. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody going to help nobody me. Ain't nobody going to help, right. Because like, yeah, this is me. I will hope that if I'm charging to the bench for a loose ball, that my teammates would catch right. me. Somebody I got they would encourage up. me to get the ball, but also like <laughs> make sure I don't hurt myself. Man, <laughs> everybody was so worried that they were going to get injured in the oh, process yeah. that they just moved out the way. Shaquille O'Neal actually destroyed players. Yeah. He destroyed baskets. He did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, for real. When you think about it, like yes. you see what this man is doing to baskets. Man, I don't want him I'm to do cool. it to me. I'm I don't out the no way. parts. What he do to the basketball to the guys in his way? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're, we're good. Uh, we, we think that, you know, there are plenty of funny moments in NBA history. Shaquille O'Neal being one of them. But there are, like, an article of, like, the 10 best funniest moments in NBA history. I think they had a crazy three-point celebration. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Hornets, uh, I think it was, what, Bismack Biyombo, uh playing with. Who is he playing with at the time? I, I can't remember. He's playing with the Hornets. He's playing with the Hornets. And uh, let's go to this clip really quickly. We got... We got the Hornets. I can't quite quite see it. Okay, my fault, my fault. Let's run that back. Okay, Bismack Biyombo, <laughs> <laughs> a three point shooter. He is not. No. But the fact that, that didn't he even look good. He lined up for this shot. Was, he did. Was crazy, bro. He thought it was good. It reminds me of like. Another moment in NBA history where people are just shooting their shot and they think it's good. Like, turn around. Hey. You know, like, the the ball is in the air. You're turning around before it even goes in and you actually happen to miss it. That's crazy. (laughs) Those are terrible. (laughs) These moments, like, there's plenty of moments in NBA history. I don't know if we're going to get a chance to go through all of the top 10 funniest moments in NBA history, but any moments that stick out to Utah? Um, a huge one for me, man. It, it stands out. I'm gonna pick on them Lakers a little bit. <laughs> that man, J.R. Smith, man. This man did not know where he was going or what was going on in the game, or maybe he just wanted to leave a little early. But uh, when he was under the basket, the the rebound he got, I think it was like six seconds on the clock or something. Not even four seconds on the clock. My man just dribbles out to the three point line instead of putting the bucket, uh, putting the shot up. I think they were down. They were down. He could have tied the ball game with that, but he dribbles it out to the three-point line, I think, with with hopes of 
you know, winning the game or whatever he was thinking, but could have tied it with a layup right underneath the basket. My man's was lost. <laughs> yeah, look at him. Look at him. He like, was lost. What are you doing? And then you you bro? pass it to my man's for a bad shot. So he's looking at you like, this bro, what? LeBron meme was epic. Like, where are you <laughs> going? Pointing at the rim. Go. Where are what are you going? doing? Where are you going? Yeah, this was hilarious. Bron was fed going? up. Bron was fed up with JR, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm really not going to lie to you, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck right now and talk that talk. Bro was straight off of, he was fresh off a of blunt. <laughs> and, <laughs> and a and glass a of Hennessy. Yes, sir. <laughs> and no, question, and no question, bro. Anything is no possible. Question. Bro was straight off that. You see his eyes? He's like, <laughs> huh? what's going on? What bro? happened? And I, low key, after that, I don't think we saw J.R. Smith in the NBA. <laughs> no. he, started, he went back to college and started golfing. <laughs> hey, bro, chill. My man had a high moment. That's very, what you call a high moment. A very funny moment in NBA history. A couple of other funny moments in NBA history. I think about I think about Taj Gibson trying to block a shot with his shoe. With a shoe. Oh like, my goodness. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, another one that sticks out to me is um Andre Drummond trying to play ISO ball, passing oh, it to himself, man. like fumbling with the rock. My man stood there for like 30 seconds. Almost the whole shot clock just stood <laughs> <What>? there holding <laughs> the ball. <laughs> my man was like. <laughs> oh, uh, and then last but not least, before we move on, uh the bat that Interrupted the whole Spurs games, and you got Manu oh, Ginobili. The, yeah. Oh yeah, playing yeah. bat catcher yeah. and smacking bats out of midair, which is wild. Like, hey, now those, those fans got what they paid for for they sure. Did, they did. <laughs> that that's, was entertaining. That's one thing about NBA games: like you never know what's going yeah, to happen. You don't right? know. <laughs> that was hilarious. I loved all of those moments. Which one stuck out to you as probably the funniest moment? Man. There were some good ones. There were some good ones. Trying to block a shot with your shoe is just outrageous, though, in the middle of an NBA game. It's not the Harlem Globetrotters. It's not, you know what I mean? It's not a funny game. Like, we legitly are playing here, and you're trying to block a shot with your shoe. So that is pretty hilarious. No, that that was funny. <laughs> and and I think about really fun, funny moments in the NBA, uh, in NBA history, but I also think about some, like, some moments that were almost so, like, out of there like just like next level to like how did this happen mm. why did this happen it's funny but only because like this is no place for you right <laughs> for stuff like this um what we what, what, what we what we got caving on the on the screen what you what you thinking about oh you just you just going go, through some of the things yeah i'm going through okay okay um yeah that him yeah. trying to block that shot with the shoe uh, let's go to that one real quick. That that one's actually really funny. Let, hey, yeah, shouts to my mans for not giving up on the play. This, this is how you do it. This is really how you do it. Uh huh. But keep it keep it legal though. You know what I mean? Use use your hand and just try to block the shot. My man's lost his shoe. Mm hmm. Said so it's cool. <laughs> Here I come. It's cool. Hey, go down. Did he miss that dunk? He missed that dunk down at the other end? I ain't even see. Hey, hey put your shoe back on, my, my boy. Uh, shoot. Shoe comes off, top of the key. Uh, yep, got it in his hand. Look, still playing defense from the top of the key. My man's tried. They go down on a break. Did my man's get it? Hey. Okay. He missed it? Did he miss that? Yeah, he looked like he yeah, missed it. Yeah, yeah, he missed that. He definitely <laughs> missed that. That that is a good clip. That's a funny clip. Uh, that's one that really sticks out. Uh, when we think about uh, some some of the funnier clips or some of the mo most memorable clips that I think that like had no Ooh. place in basketball. What are you? What came to mind? No, no, no. I what just came to just mind is is it is it Markel Fultz who was shooting the free throw and held onto the ball and wouldn't let it go? Hey, if it's Markel Fultz, I'm I, know, I know, I know, but I know, but that's why I asked first. <laughs> I that's think it was Markel. I, I think it was Markel. But I think it was someone else too. I think if somebody else did kind of the same thing, was trying to shoot a free Rondo? throw. Was it Rondo? I think Rondo did it where he faked him out. Oh, okay, okay, Rondo, okay. Rondo did I swear he... somebody did it, and they they just it looked like they were having trouble. Not Marco Fultz. Like, okay, that's why I wanted to make sure it wasn't him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I wanted to make sure it wasn't him. I was like, dang, it's somebody <laughs> outside of him that kind of did the same type of thing. Okay, but when we think about some of the most funny moments in sports history that had no place in sports, what are some that really Man. stick out to you? One that comes to mind to me, I'm a, I'm a Michigan guy. You mm -hmm. know, we're Michigan, Michigan made, Mitten made. You know what I mean? Uh, one of the most memorable moments in sports history that was funny that was just like a 
like, excuse my French, but a Detroit nigga moment. Yo, I know exactly what <laughs> you're talking the about. the malice in the palace, bro. <laughs> yes, like, sir. Them boys just started <laughs> scrapping out of hey, nowhere. Hey. And the guy formerly known as Ron Artest, mm-hmm. Metal World Peace, actually went into the stands like, and started attacking that. fans, bro. But one of the funniest things that, that happened in that whole skirmish to me, outside of Meta World Peace laying on the table and then getting hit with a cup of water <laughs> yep. or something like that was Jermaine O'Neal sliding in oh, and yeah. punching oh, yeah. somebody iconic. from his knees. That was that literally was iconic. like the most iconic moment yeah. in sports for me. Um, let's, yeah, let's take anything, it to the Malice Anything the for the Brodies, man. Ron Artest. He's like, oh, yeah, I had yeah, enough of y'all. Yeah, Come he, here. <laughs> straight into the stands to fight fans. He looked at whoever it was. Yeah. He didn't know who it was look, and just yank, started yank, scrapping. Yank. Like, the fans wasn't playing look, there no you go. Look, Jermaine O'Neal, he said, hey, hey. you. <laughs> but, like, come you on, can... bro. Bro, jersey is twisted. Look at Reggie look at Miller. Reggie. I was just about look, say, at look at Reggie, Reggie. Miller. Like, <laughs> this was the craziest moment. It was so funny. It was so bad. Yeah. But it was so funny because it was it's like, it was. what is going on? All time, probably the, the, the biggest, funniest moment that was not at all like what are we doing here yeah. this is not at all what we're doing yeah this but is not what's supposed it, to be happening but it, it right is now. in the history of the league for sure why why did that happen oh uh the yeah yeah, yeah why did why did that happen bro <laughs> i mean what's the, what's the background behind the that? background i i honestly don't know if i know you never watched it fully i watched it, it was okay. some hard files right it was some hard files and then he he had also meta had said that the fans had been throwing stuff on the court earlier, yep. were heckling them, things like that. So when he was laying on the table, that was the last straw for him. Yes. But the reason why the fans were against them was it, because of yeah. some of the hard fouls that yep. were occurring yep. against the Pistons. And they didn't really like the John that was going I was just about to say. But you know, like those, those two teams, like when you look back on it in sports oh, yeah. history, those teams matching up against each other were like, that was like, gasoline and fire yeah, yeah you know what i mean you got what ron artest jermaine o'neill steven jackson <laughs> like, yeah. all, all on the same team like i don't know if y'all watch all the smoke <laughs> yeah, but they want all the smoke <laughs> they want all the smoke and then you got ben wallace Rasheed oh wallace. my god bro like when you just said the training moment i'm like bro come they, on, they bro. but i'm on the court bro they they was ready to go to war for sure man no 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 kids man like other folks um other funny sports moments that have happened in the past, uh, we're going to take it to football a little bit in this situation. Uh, one that sticks out to us, and we got some notes on this, but Richard Sherman actually mm. getting punched in the face. Mm. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'm e. so sorry yeah. that Richard Sherman had to actually get a, a fist to the face for this one, but like, I just thought he was a tough guy. I you did, I mean? too. I, I did, he, too. Them Seahawks, the Legion of Boom or Doom, or what, what did they go as back in the day? Legion of Doom? Legion, mm. Legion of Boom? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like they was the the best secondary in the league at yeah. the time, and it was a lot of you know drawing back and forth and jockeying on who was the best. And Richard Sherman happened to be on the other end of a clip. The mm-hmm. funny part about it is, uh, uh, bro walked up to him and told yeah, he him, did. Like, I'm a, I'm punching your face. Uh-huh. <laughs> and and then Sherman was like, "Do it then, right?" <laughs> stuck him, <laughs> Good, stuck you. And then his teammates, <laughs> dude, teammates gonna come up talking about some. What you doing? What you doing? He like, bro, I ain't even do nothing. He said, bro, came to me. Man. <coughs> oh, yeah. Look. Yeah, bro walked up like, I want all the smoke. Y'all, ah! all the smoke. I want all the smoke. <laughs> bro, ain't going. He handled it like a trooper, though. My man just threw his hands up. It was like, hey, hey, I'll get you back on the field. Because he sure did. <laughs> he did. And what, what was it? It was... It was a lot of beef. It was a lot of beef there. Yeah. Yeah, it was. A lot of beef there. But yeah, Richard Sherman definitely handled his own mm-hmm. in, in that in that situation. He definitely played the high role. But that's a hilarious moment. I Man. can imagine getting bro. jabbed in my face and not swinging back, bro. Like, boy. Boy. By Trent Williams, too? Hey. <laughs> I ought to tackle, bro. Come here. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I ought to tackle, bro. Wow. Some, said, other, bro. <laughs> some other funny sports moments, though, when it comes to football, though. I think about the Anquan Bolden and um Oh, Richard Sherman? No, what it wasn't Richard Sherman. It was um uh, I can't think of the the DB's name, but it was Anquan Bolden and uh Flynn or, or like, oh, Finnegan Andre, or Andre Johnson. Oh, it's Andre Johnson, my bad, my bad, my bad. Hmm. Andre Johnson and uh who was who was the 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 DB that was guarding him? It was uh, some light skinned dude. Quarter, 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 
Yeah, 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 yeah. They literally just started boxing. I was just about to say <laughs> throwing each other on the football. I think field, I see bro. this. Yeah, like, yeah, this yeah. bro. He talked about it on uh, uh, Richard, uh, not Richard Sherman. He talked about it on Shannon Sharp podcast. He said he went to the head coach and said, "I'm about to fight, dude." <laughs> and fought him. Don't make no sense. Oh man, <laughs> so I'm about to fight, dude. No, nah, that was that was a hilarious. Hey, sports man, his word. Like, like, well, oh, straight up, yeah, yeah. They Look they wouldn't even play the game. Helmet off. Look, look, yeah, nah, look. bro, yeah, nah, come here. bro, come yeah, here. take your helmet off. That was hilarious. Yeah, take give me your helmet. helmet. What? Hey, hey. hey look, but scrap, scrap. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yes, that was that a was crazy hilarious, moment. bro. Like, <laughs> like, bro, they just stopped playing football. Yeah, it was freaking. Get forget it. <laughs> forget it. Y'all football. go ahead. Y'all like, go ahead. <laughs> football is a a very uh, physical sport. Right? As is, <laughs> but like. Y'all took it to boxing? <laughs> I got a lot of respect for boxers now because we back, were boxing in San, in San Diego. But, like, them boys throwing hands with pads on. Yeah. That's what I never got either. Like, hockey players? Yeah. They just be throwing hands with pads <laughs> on, bro. Like, how can you even lift your shoulders? Yeah, One thing I respect about hockey, though, is they let you fight. Yes, they do. They do. They let you fight for a minute. And then hug it out. And then <laughs> go to your back to the box. Games. Do you think that's something that they should allow in football? Ooh. Nah, it'll get too crazy. <laughs> Y'all saw Miles Garrett when he took Bro Hillman off and <laughs> smacked him it, in the head with the helmet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah right. so we can't have that in football? Yeah, no, no, no. Not even just like with designated players, like just only wide receivers and DBs. <laughs> nah, <laughs> like, and that would be great. That would be I would great. love that. Like, wide I'm a, and like DBs. coach, I'm, I'm going at him at the line. We're not even getting off hey, the line. Hey, funny enough, though, Andre Johnson is now a Hall of Famer, and uh, the DB is nowhere to be found. Exactly. Oh. No, I, I know that. Yeah, I knew that. Like, even at the time, it was just like a, a clear disparity of like <laughs> who's who and you're what's mad. what. Like, you're, you're upset. Yeah, bro, it's just mad. He's <laughs> you're upset. Tough. Um, another memorable, funny NFL moment was who was it? It's somebody from the Jets. Was it? It's not Liner. It's uh, what was the QB? Sanchez, Mark Sanchez, with the New York Jets, the infamous butt fumble. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The butt fumble My is guy. literally one of the funniest moments in NFL history. Yeah, where's your awareness, my guy? You got to pick your head up. We tell them that in ball basketball all the time, man. Pick your head up. You got to like, see where you're going. <laughs> and that was shortly the decline of his career. Man. Actually, like, he had a very promising career. And then when that happened. I'm not going to lie. That's tough, bro. How do you overcome that? But look, don't, bro. I, Boink. How do you overcome that? Butt a scoop and score? <laughs> to the crib? A scoop and score? Come on, man. <laughs> to the bar. Like, the butt fumble. Oh man! And then you go down in wow. history. That, that's your whole legacy now. You're the butt fumble guy. Yes, that's your and whole you know, legacy. You know, New York Jets fans ain't they ain't uh, nice, oh, bro. Oh no! Wow. <laughs> you ran into your own man, oh, bro. Man. Your blocker. Oh, Look man. at first. I feel yeah, like he went the wrong way on the handoff. He went the wrong way. You see him tucking it like the wrong way on the handoff. The option was wrong. <laughs> he said, "Let me try to run this." And ran into a blocker. <laughs> ran into his guy. Um, that's funny. <laughs> that's hilarious, funny. bro. What are some other NFL funnies that you can think of? Man, NFL funnies. Let's see. NFL funnies. Oh, let's think. What are some funny NFL moments that I can think of? I'm trying to think back, back. And like mine would be a little older. I stopped, not even stopped watching football, but I haven't paid too much attention to okay. it. And so a lot of, oh, Reggie Bush. His welcome oh to the league gosh, moment, bro. That's a good one. The Reggie Bush welcome yeah, to the league Reggie moment. Yeah, Reggie Bush welcome to welcome to the league moment. Is, are you yeah. talking about the screen pass? I thought he. So there was two. Oh, there was two. There <laughs> okay, was two. Okay, okay. There was the screen pass where he got blew up, but then he got jammed at the line. Didn't he get set on his butt at the line or something like that? Uh, it was like it was like one of his first plays. Okay, okay. Am I mistaken, Kevin? Do you remember that? Yeah. He got like jammed at the line and put put on his butt or something like that. You want, are you talking about this one? I, I, no, the I'm screen, talking that, that about that one. Yeah, no, that was bad. <laughs> I was that talking was about. Bad. Oh my god! Him getting blew up murder, off that screen pass. Murder. Yeah, stay hey, down, my guy. Welcome stay to, down, my. Welcome, welcome to, the, to the league moment. Yeah, look, yeah, yeah. You tried it. Hey, you tried it. USC no more. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look how he spread out. Oh my god. That hurts. bro. Yeah, that hurt me. Wind knocked out of my guy. Look at it. Hold on, hold on. God. And it's clean. Yeah, that it was, was a clean it was clean, play. clean. Well, according to today's 
rules. Exactly. Regulations. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Even according to today's rules, it is really clean. good still too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because he didn't. Yeah. It was very clean. That bro Ooh. just got all of it. Who was the defender on that? He got all in them ribs, all that, all oh that air. God, gone, bro. Yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, that's why when it came to football, <laughs> that's why guys retire early. Nah, and that's seriously. Why I'm not trying seriously. to make a career. Get out in of there, it. and you. Well, I was always told. So, I mean. Like I told you guys before, my first love was football. I was always told once you got older and you got to those leagues after high school or you high school and beyond, you wanted to be the guy delivering the hit, not the guy taking the hit. Yeah, be so the they, hammer, not the nail. Exactly. So they always encourage, hey, go to the defensive side of the ball. You're going to be the one delivering those and, and not subject to <laughs> hey, what let me Reggie go to, Bush just had. <laughs> so going back to the first topic about funny moments. So originally – I was on offense. I was, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So originally, I was on offense. I was running back inside receiver. Inside receiver. Inside receiver. Inside receiver. Inside receiver. Yeah, it was this one practice, bro. <laughs> Legit. It was one practice. We had this play called Waggle, and they send the inside receiver across the middle, and we had a backer. All American linebacker, oh, bro. Boy. His name was Larry Wilson. Oh, Larry boy. Wilson. I mean, Larry like Wilborn. Larry Wilborn. Larry Wilborn right? sounds yeah. like a, a linebacker oh, name. Larry, Larry sounds like he. 6'1, 250. <laughs> yes, sir. Rocked up. Neck pad. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, uh, right. And I'm a linebacker with a neck pad. It's over. Bro, I was 10th grade. Yeah. I was 10th yeah. grade, 5'8, buck 70. Cross the middle. Crazy part about it, ball didn't even get thrown to me, bro. <laughs> Lit you up for the hell of it. He just lit me up for, for no reason. For fun. Mind you, I'm looking for the ball like this. Oh no! The next thing you know, I just oh. see my feet in the air like this. Oh, oh no, man! Limped off the limped off the uh, field. Hip was out of place. Oh, oh boy! Dang. Yes, legit. Knocked my hip out of place. The next week, I was on defense. My running back coach walked up to me and said, "Dang, that was fast." <laughs> He said, bro, you switched up quick. quick. Oh, man. That was the hardest hit I ever took in my life. Yes. I said, I never want to do that again. I think every football player has that that win knocked out of you moment. I think, I, I mean, I definitely experienced mine. I definitely had one. Man, high school, 78ers. I remember oh, it. Oh, 78ers wasn't high 78ers. school, though. 78ers or, was actually well, yeah, yeah, right. But I say high. that because we played with a it bunch of junior. guys that we ended up going to high school with and okay. we played ball with and everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I even give my man a shout out. My man's Bryant Price. Oh, Bryant Price. Bryant Price. Hawk me down in a in a in a red and it was red versus white. I don't remember, yeah. but uh, hawk me down. I thought I was gone. Hey, I wasn't that fast. I wasn't that fast. But I thought I was gone. Bust up through the middle. <laughs> gone. Downfield. Gone. I start looking bro, back. Going nowhere. <laughs> bro was hawking me. I start trying to zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. He ends up jumping. I don't even know how he got me, but like I zigzag, he jumps over me. I don't know how he grabbed me, but somehow like he impacts me and flips me. Like it was, I don't know, it was weird. It was, I don't know how it happened, but it was a pretty hard hit. You know they say uh, the the greatest basketball players got made on the football field. You think, uh, you think you so? Go. For sure. They get, so. Oklahoma made a lot of basketball no, players. No, yes. So. No. Bro. Yes. Let's talk, we're, about, we're let's talk about let's talk about Allen Iverson and LeBron James. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. They were great okay. football players and uh, didn't they was stop good. playing they football. Was, they was good. Because of the LeBron, Oklahoma drill. LeBron would have yeah. been a, LeBron was an athlete though. He would have been a Hall of Famer in football. Exactly. Like, exactly. I, true. I can't imagine a six eight tight end. You know, coming it's, down the middle. You could go off of the NBA and go ahead and select you some teams. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> he, he, it's funny because football guys always try to pull that and try to act like it's football, true. Though football no. made men out it's, of basketball. It's the other players. way around. It's true, but it is, some of the best true. basketball players were also just dominant in football. In football, yep. yeah. I mean, AI was a freak athlete. LeBron, freak athlete. Yeah, I just threw him it's, out there quickly. I didn't, a couple, I didn't have to think too it's hard. It's a couple more who I think. NBA that that could succeed in basketball for sure. Yeah, but for the most part, <laughs> I'll tell y'all one of my funny uh, football moments, and it wasn't like even in organized sense. It was we in my career we had, we used to play all types of sports, right? We used to play like football, baseball, kickball. Um, we had ghetto Olympics. We had we had everything you name. Like, <laughs> I, I just the list goes on, right? But it was a. Uh, it was a, like a, a townhome apartment complex where it was just a bunch of kids, and the age range was just just wide. Like they had, <laughs> you could be a senior in high school, or you could be a first grader. We all play. <laughs> we all play <laughs> with each other, right? So we out there playing football, and 
one of the girls in the neighborhood had a boyfriend who came over to the neighborhood. He like high school or something like that. I'm dominating. Right. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm dominating. I'm running circles around everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I can't really. I'm just athletic, bro. I just grew up like that. Uh, but this dude, he's a little bit bigger, faster, stronger. So we were playing and, you know, I'm cooking up, cutting up. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go. If I give me a TD, try and go to the bricks. You know what I'm saying? Next thing I know, this white boy come out of nowhere, flash across the middle. Spirit the hell out of me, bro. Ugh. Next thing I know, I'm back on the ground, blacked out, like <laughs> out for a second. Hit, hit. And I was like, dang, bro. Like everybody, everybody mad at him because they're like, bro, why, why you, you hit him, him, like why you hit him so hard? <laughs> why you hit him like that? He's like, shit, we play a football. You know what I mean? But like, bro, I swear, bro was like 12 years older than me. <laughs> right. So <laughs> like, why are you going like full shoulder down? Hey, the we white, still won though. The white boys on football be insane yeah like they'd be like that bro let's talk about white boys as dbs they were oh, extinct yeah. are they coming back uh, <laughs> i mean you got a you got a few i remember um is a this is a funny moment too this was during the nba draft when troy apke ran a 4-3 and Deion Sanders was that white boy fast <laughs> <laughs> but you don't you don't see that too often but like they making a return honestly at this point when it comes to like sports in general skill positions Skill positions for sure. Like, if you train early enough, you know you can get it. I mean, look at Chris McCaffrey. Like, CMC different. I don't even different. Want to yeah. <laughs> and now <laughs> CMC different. Run CMC man. And now his brother in the league, LMC. Yep. Hey, the Bosa brothers. Yeah, the Bosa brothers. Come on, different. Like, yeah, it's, it's plenty. It's Tra- plenty Travis Kelsey, yeah. George Kittle. Now, tight ends are one hundred percent insane. Like. Yeah. I, I would rather have a white tight end than a, you know mm-hmm. <laughs> somebody who going who going to give some hits and yeah, take some hits. Yeah, security blanket. Catch, catch yeah. that ball, get me, to the white me what I need. <laughs> 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 Always <laughs> guaranteed. 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 <laughs> get the you top, a Travis Kelsey. Oh, oh, oh me. Get no, you a fact, Travis Kelsey. Fact, fact. <laughs> so what are some other uh funny moments in other sports? I was, you know, like I said I grew up playing a little bit of everything. I played a little bit of baseball growing up too. What are some funny baseball moments? that stick out to you ty do you have any man so i'm not gonna remember the players or the team but i (laughs) do remember some some moments that happened um i think everybody's seen you know somebody come crashing in the home plate and and and, you know blowing up the the spot yeah um but i forgot who it was oh i'm a water um it's actually mine but it's okay (laughs) (laughs) forgot who it was but my man's was coming home from third um i think the bases were loaded. He was coming home from third and clearly knows he's not going to make it. It's like, it's sure as day, bro. You, you're got, bro. You're out. <laughs> My guy decided, he said, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and switch sports real quick. Tim, go ahead and cup. My man went straight to the plate, bro, and just plowed through the first baseman and the catcher, bro. Both just, of them? Yes. They were both standing there. My man's just, Ugh. I don't remember who it was, but I remember my man, he didn't care. He looked, he seen it, and was like, I don't care. I'm just going to keep going. Me. No, just, you still got to tag me. You still got to tag me. Just keep going. That's one of the funniest <laughs> things about baseball, though, like, the funniest things in baseball to me is either that collision at home plate when yep. you got the catcher and you got the runner running into running into home, or when a pitcher hits somebody. Man, those are the funniest Man. moments Man. in baseball. That, for I gotta me. add the monkey in the middle too, though. Oh, the, it doesn't the pickle happen too often. When you get somebody, but when you pickle, put somebody in the little monkey in the middle, it can be pretty funny. It's too. called the pickle. That's, that's a pickle. Fine. My bad. I, <laughs> I live. I live for uh, players rushing the mound. Yes, like, exactly. Yeah, that's the yes when, when a that's player, the, when a pitcher hits somebody, bro. Yeah. I'm like, go and fight him, bro. Go, yeah. Yeah. go and play the pitchers. It, it, it is hilarious when you see players like they get hit and then they're just like, yeah, but nah, I ain't gonna get me that. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I'm like, I'm get this uh, right now. Yeah, I'll break you out. Yeah. <laughs> I got a, I got another funny baseball moment though. I, another funny baseball moment before we get into this is Randy Randy Johnson actually hitting a bird going across home okay. plate. I don't know. You might be showing you that the Mariners. It. No, no, no. Okay, no, no. Okay, he pitched okay. it, and the, yeah, the he, pitch hit the, the yeah, bird. Legit, yeah. Bro, I think I seen that on like ESPN. Bro, yes, yeah. that's a funny moment. It's actually not that funny because it's sad for the bird. Right, it is sad for the bird. I mean, but hey, timing. We're but yeah, no, timing. no animal cruelty no. on the pod. This is a funny <laughs> moment featuring basketball players at a baseball game. Okay, let's see it. Oh, is 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 it Russ and uh, James behind the plate? 
Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, that's a move, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, he's like, you know that ain't going to hit you right. <laughs> I don't care. But that's when they play for the Houston Rockets. Yeah, and hey. They sit behind home plate. And there's a grandma that actually went viral for sitting behind home plate. And, like, she don't even, nope, she don't stone even cold. move, stone bro. Cold, She's like, stone cold. She make them look like. Like little right. girls, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, she been there before. Act like you've been there before. Right, right. My question to y'all is this. Y'all think they was fried? Oh, bro, come on, bro. Oh, me. Come on, bro. Oh, me. That, that's why the ball looked like it was coming. <laughs> Them boys were sitting there. They was chilling. They was like, woo. Whoa. <laughs> bro, you see that? The, that was the crazy. Right. We got like, all day. Yeah. <laughs> hey, watch out, man, nah. that, ball, that ball went like this, and then it went this y'all way. See, y'all see how they looked at each other? Like, hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, bro. That was a crazy right. one. <laughs> exactly. No, for nah, sure. That was a good one. That was a good one. It's funny how... <clears throat> Excuse me. It's funny how we're talking baseball right now, and we find a way to get basketball, <laughs> basketball back right in back in. in right? <laughs> That's hilarious, though. But there's so many funny moments in sports history. What are some of your favorite funny moments in sports history? Let mm-hmm. us know in the comments. Go ahead, drop a comment below. Uh, out of all the things we went over today, Ty, what was the funniest moment for you? Man, I got to relive some that that we. Yeah, that I forgot about, man. The block in the shot with the shoe. My Rams running into this, <laughs> this big man, bro. Why are you running into his butt, bro? That's wild, bro. That's crazy. But one that sticks out the most, man, I'm still going to have to go with my guy, JR, bro. My man yeah. is a clown, bro. Yeah, He's nah, a clown the, for that. The, the blunt glass of Henny is. <laughs> yes. That does go down as one of he the, is a the clown, funniest bro. moments from today's episode. Uh, and thinking about other funny moments from, you know, some – some sports icons. I think about the NBA on TNT. Oh yeah. What are oh, yeah. some of the best moments? Because we're, we're we're going into the last year of the media deal with the NBA rights and all mm-hmm. this stuff. We got NBA on TNT, which is one of the most iconic shows in sports history. What are some of the most epic moments that stick out <laughs> to you when it comes to Ernie, Chuck, <laughs> Shaq, and Kenny? It is- <laughs> I'm going to leave this a little broad. Anytime my man Chuck pick on Shaq, bro. Anytime, Anytime. Chuck pick on Shaq, it is up, bro. It's the uncles. I, I got two uncles that's like that. So anytime yeah. they get to going at it, bro, because Shaq gets so mad. Really, that's really what it be, because Shaq gets so mad. He takes it so personal. Bro, so he get pissed. Like, we, we really doing this on national TV right now, uh, Chuck? Hey. <laughs> like, that's how First he First thing he say, rings. <laughs> Rip. Oh, <laughs> the first thing he want to say yes. every time yep. is how, how many yep. times you won. Now? Yep, and then how many, Chuck will go to them gold medals, to, to the gold medal. He, <laughs> yeah, that's his, that's where he could go. Hilarious. But yeah, anytime nah, Chuck and 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 Shaq get into it, bro, it's a great time on that show. So many memorable moments from them getting into it for sure. And I think yeah, you you touched on it. Like anytime Chuck and uh, Shaq go at it, are definitely some really funny moments in NBA on TNT. Anything Shaq does on NBA on TNT is actually hilarious. hilarious. He ran to like a. Uh, a Christmas tree one year. Man. He, he like, <laughs> you too big I, for that dog? Bro, he, I think he fell out of his seat trying yep. to beat. Go to the board. Yeah, yep. Kenny to the board, <laughs> bro. Like, it's so many moments that, like, stick out to me. What are y'all favorite NBA on TNT moments? Let's take it to the monitor and see what some of the best moments Man. in NBA on TNT history are. And I know it won't be the same without Shaq there, bro. It just won't. I mean, all of them, of course, but. Also, um, I think about when C Web was a part of it. Oh, yeah. Did the whole race thing and they was training for the race. <laughs> Chris Webber is a good idea. Look, I mean, at it, look at it. Okay. Yeah. Look oh! at it. Yes. <laughs> Bro, that was hilarious. And then they can't. Kenny go walk to the board. <laughs> <laughs> I think they set him up, bro. Oh, yeah. They definitely it, set him up Yeah, because like, it was a quarter or something. Look, exactly. look. See, he all, he all in there. All discombobulated, man. Yeah. Big fella lost to size 18, size 20. <laughs> <laughs> man, those are hilarious, bro. Man. I'm telling you, anytime them two got into it. And then, um, was it, what did it, I mean, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny stumbled a, a few times to the, board. to the board. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely then got caught up in some moments. Um, what can I think of? And like I said, anytime them, them two get into it, I could think of a, a time I think Chuck, Chuck stole Shaq segment. Like it was supposed to go one, two, three. Yeah. And it was like one, two. And then Chuck like stepped in and started talking. Another funny moment is actually when they did something on a teleprompter. Mm. Oh, and yeah. And they messed yeah. Chuck up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, what is this one? What is this one? Uh, we can't even hear it, huh? Yeah, nah. 
Okay, mm-hmm. it's all good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But one of, the, his face. one of the moments <laughs> that they got Chuck with was uh, they they literally switched up the excuse me switched up the words on his teleprompter, and then at the end of it, his last word was or his last part of his uh, sentence was "I'm a dumbass." Yeah, yeah. Like so, yeah, they convinced I that. him to say "I'm a dumbass" <laughs> yeah. on live TV. <laughs> By just messing up his teleprompter. You just read, and it's funny, like you, yeah, you just get used to reading, and they can do something like that. I'm a dumbass, just like that. And then he's like, "Wait a minute, I just said I'm a dumbass." I couldn't imagine if we had teleprompters on the pod. (laughs) Like I would, I would definitely be trying to get you. Man, nah, nah, I ain't gonna get mindless reading it. Yeah, I feel it. (laughs) Hey, soon come, soon come, soon come, soon come. What did DJ Khaled say? Soon come. Soon come. Soon come. Soon come. Hey, but this has been a fun episode of the yes, podcast. Very lighthearted. It. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. As always, I'm here with the best, the great, that fly I guy, Ty. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm your host. It's only possible because of you. Man. Hey, I'm your host, Tarai Bionic Brooks. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you subscribe mm-hmm. to the podcast. Subscribe to the channel. and Make sure you hit that follow button. Download the pod. All that good stuff. Mm-hmm. And if you see us out in the streets, make sure y'all say what's up. We'll see y'all next time. Peace.